Hey everyone, it is me, TNT, and I'm back with another episode on the TazCraft server. It is episode 2, and today, um, there is a few things I want to get done. So, first of all, I need a, a mending villager. Our stuff is starting to break, um, and it would just be really nice to have one. And I'm pretty sure that there is a village kind of nearby-ish. I'm not positive on that. Uh, but first, we really need some food, because... I'm kind of running low on hearts and on hunger, and I have no food on me. Um, and there's a skeleton somewhere. There he is. This is great. This is delightful. Oh, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Okay, great. We're good. We're good. <laughs> Apparently, all I had to do was check my chest. Um, but yeah, anyways. So, villagers. Uh, I don't want a big villager haul yet. Maybe, actually. No, we'll, we'll save that for probably next episode. Um, but I just want one villager for mending. I just really need a mending book, or a few of them actually. Um, so I'm pretty sure that there is a village over off in that direction. Um, so we're probably just gonna snatch some of them. Uh, I don't know if we are gonna bring it to our base or if we're gonna have like a little setup there. Uh, I guess we'll decide that as we get there. <laughs> so I did kind of forget about the fact that we have a village really close to spawn. <laughs> um, that's not good that the chunks are not loading. Okay, there we go. Um, so I think we're just gonna use these guys because, yeah, why not? <laughs> uh, I think that we did save a few over here. I think that this is mine that I saved. So, oh, okay, he's gone. Um, I think that people have stolen my villager. That's, that's too bad. <laughs> so I did actually manage to find another villager. He was just kind of walking around. Um, so all we're gonna do is push him, do that, and now we can go over here and place our lectern and try and get him to become a mending villager, which might take a while. Oh, yeah, I forgot. It has to be the right time of day. Dang it. Ugh. Oh my gosh. I got an efficiency five book. That's more rare than mending. I don't have enough to save it though. Okay, we need to get emeralds fast somehow. <laughs> Good news is I had enough at home. Uh, bad news, or it might be bad news, I don't know. Yeah, yep, I figured. He reset his trades. Dang it. That sucks. Ugh. But there we go, Mending Villager. Um, that did not take long at all, and now his trades are locked in. Uh, we do not have enough paper though to get 20 emeralds. Um, so, <laughs> I guess we have to make him into a zombie and then cure him, which I don't really want to do, but it's fine. Um, I want to cover this up, though, if possible, so that way, you know, no one else knows that he's here. <laughs> I should also mention that um, a lot of people have been trying to flatten out spawn, and this is just in one day. People are good! <laughs> uh, so I'm just doing my little part. I'm just doing up the finishing touches basically. We have enough space for shops and everything. Uh, so yeah, we did really, really, really good here. So shout out to like Zix, um, uh, Gabe, uh, OG, uh, I don't know, most, most of the people online right now, I'm guessing. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's awesome though. Guys, I literally have the most precious villager ever known to man, I feel like. Look at this. You guys already know about mending, but he has efficiency five. Do you know how- oh, that's like crazy! If I lose this villager somehow, I will cry. I will actually be crying. I will ball. Ball? No. I don't, I don't know. So the next day was really, really rough server-wise server for me. <laughs> there was a wither that was summoned in the nether and destroyed a lot of it. Um, it, it, was, a, it was a mess. <laughs> uh, so I took care of all that, which took a lot of my free time um, and there is even a banning today which is not ever fun uh, so yeah but we're back to recording <laughs> um, and hopefully we've taken care of that for quite some time with all the stealing and whatnot um, but I want to get mending on my armor because right now they're getting pretty low and we have a mending villager so I mean like might might as well I may have forgot, me forgot to mention that with the wither um, yeah, I got really out of hand, so it's not 
it's not 100% survival Minecraft, but we did have to slash kill it. I'm gonna admit to that. Um, the Haxter accidentally put in the wrong command and slash killed all entities except for the Wither. Um, it's been a mess today, guys. It's been wild. Um, so yeah, that also killed my villager. So we had to like roll it back and whatnot. It, it's been a lot, so that's why it was kind of messed up. Um, and he was not there because we rolled it, he killed all entities, so I had to roll back this area. Um, so that he's back. Yeah, I know it's not 100% survival, guys, but it was a it was a mess, and it it's what we had to do. But here we go, and I also have tons of books from uh, raiding libraries in uh, the little underground, uh, whatever they're called, the the strongholds. There we go. That's the word. Uh, so we don't have to worry about that at all. And now let's get tons and tons of mending books, and also a few efficiency fives, because this villagers actually amazing. So my recording kind of got messed up um, because I forgot to change some settings, but I got pranked and they did like a door noise thingy, but they also did this to my dog, Ruler of the Underworld, and I love it, and this is gonna stay now. <laughs> so I, I know I haven't recorded any of this, um, and it's kind of a big deal. Uh, Zix gave me three wither heads and some soul sand, which is awesome. Um, we're kind of just like having fun. He has like a ton of these heads just like He has like 18 I think it's crazy. He's basically always on the server um, So he just gave me some and he's like hey have fun. We're, we're like doing a big collaboration thing So they're also taking down the wither at the same time as me um, So hopefully this goes well. I'm using the good old tunnel tactic um, I have a golden apple just in case I should get that into my inventory. Um, I also have quite a bit of valuables on me, so if I die, I'll be very upset. Um, so let's not die. <laughs> um, so, oh, I placed that wrong. Alright, so let's fight the... I can't do that. I apparently have to place them on top. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> let's fight the wither a hey, so he's gonna do a big explosion i have a 100 block tunnel which i hope is enough um if it's not i'm so sorry sorry zix <laughs> um but here we go so he should not fire down the tunnel like he is right now he should get in a state where i can easily just take him down where Oh, there he is. I couldn't see him for a hot sec. Okay, so he should hopefully get into a place where I can hit him, but he can't hit me. Doesn't look like that's in his best of interests, which is great. Bro, what are you doing? Here, let me shoot him a few times. Maybe that will help. Okay, bro. There we go. I think that's what we want. Yeah. Okay, so now I should be able to just hit him like this. Out here. Out here. Okay, we're gonna gap. Oh, we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Hey! Well, we just killed the wither, and he dropped a wither head, which is awesome. Oh, that's so awesome. Thank you so much, Zix. You're amazing. Link in the description to his channel. Um, so go check him out. So heads up, guys. My brother kind of messed with my mic settings a little bit and accidentally made it so you can tell which part of the room I'm coming from. Um, so it sound kind of like this, where if I'm coming behind here, you can hear me. But if I go over here, you can also hear me. Um, so yeah, it's really weird if you're wearing earbuds. If you're not wearing earbuds, it shouldn't make a difference. Um, so just like a quick little warning. Alright, so I was out on like a little course mining, se mining session, just like a really small one, and now we have efficiency 5 on both of our picks, cause like I did some mending, some not mending, some anvil work and whatnot, which is awesome. Um, I think that we are gonna go to the end really fast though, and try to get just a few shulker boxes, um, because we really, we really need shulker boxes, so I bought a lot of rockets from, uh, Hackster's shop that I was gonna be a part of, but then I like dropped out cause I didn't feel like I'd be really valuable to the team. Um, so yeah. We're gonna go do that, so that should be interesting. <laughs> Alright, so we have made it to the end, um, which is cool. So basically now we just do this. 
for such a long time, a very long time. Oh, uh, and it looks like people have already been here. Let's go this direction then. So in this little time-lapse and busting chat, um, I want to talk to you guys again about my base. Um, I talked to you guys a little bit about it last episode, just saying, you know, I kind of want to go for that more creepy feel. We're going to wait to 1.16 and uh, whatnot. But after thinking about it a little bit more, I have actually decided to s totally just scrap that idea. We're not going to do that at all anymore. Uh, and there's two reasons behind it. One, I don't really want to wait till 1.16. I feel like that's a dumb idea. Um, and it, yeah, but two... Uh, Grin is actually making a mansion, and you're like, okay, so what, he's making a mansion, you weren't gonna make a mansion. Well, I was gonna make a mansion, I just never told you guys that. I was gonna make a really nice old creepy mansion, um, and I was gonna go for it. Um, and typically, well, actually not typically, um, but I don't want to just do stuff that other bigger YouTubers are already, already doing, um, because the likelihood of you guys watching my videos and also watching their videos is really high and you guys don't want to see two people making the same thing. Um, so I have decided to not um, do a nice big creepy mansion and instead I'm trying to figure out new ideas. So um, I'm going to go and probably, if no one helps me out, like basically what I'm going to say is if you guys have any ideas, please leave them down in the comments below. Um, and I would really like to see what you guys have to say, what you guys w would like to see. Um, but, uh, if you guys don't give me any good ideas, then either I will try to come up with one by myself, or I will, um, actually go to Kenzie's, like, inspirational photos and try to make one of those, like, into my own thing. I really am uncreative when it comes to Minecraft, which is sad, but it's the truth. Um, so that's just kind of, like, an update of where I am about my base ideas. Um, and expect another update next episode, honestly. So, yeah. Anyways, back to the video. I have literally been sitting here at this Enderman farm. By the way, Haxter made this. It's amazing. It gives you tons of XP. Uh, but I've been trying to repair my sword and this, uh, pick. And neither of them have mending on them. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> but, yeah, so we have to go get mending books from our villager now. Okay, so I just did, like, a really quick end-busting thing, like, not much at all. But we got, like, a 1 Elytra, and we got 58 Shulkers. And I was only in this for Shulkers for the most part, so I'm happy. Um, so we're just gonna make a few and just, you know, save the rest, because they take up so much storage if they're not, like, in the shells, in the shell form. <laughs> so I do think it's about time that we get started on our starter base, though. Uh, making it m look more like a place to live than just kind of, like, a thing that looks kind of cool. Um, so... Uh, to start off with, I want to make walls going across it, um, and I think that the best way to go about that would be to do glass, because that way you guys see the surrounding area, um, and, you know, the whole point of making my base here was because it has these really nice arches, and if you just cover that up with, like, a stone wall, it's, it looks boring. Um, so, I have a shulker box, and I have an efficiency 5 shovel, um, with unbreaking 3, so I just need to go find a desert, and I think that there's already a path to one do i have an yeah i do have enough wood to make a boat so that's good thank you to the hackster for showing me this tunnel to the portal because i really had no idea where it was so appreciate it man go check out his channel guys he's cool he makes good content and i thought in this time lapse chat i might as well just tell you guys really fast as a short time lapse um uh, why i have not been posting well i why this video is late uh, and that's because i was hired as a editor for like a small little thing. It was like a 40 second video, but it was like a dance video and like I had to sync it up correctly with the music. It was horrible. It took me literally two days to get a 40 second video edited and I can get a 20 minute Minecraft video edited in one day. So that's saying something. Um, but yeah, that's th this time lapse is so short. So yeah, <laughs> that did not take long at all. So that's awesome. We have a full sugar box of sand now. We probably should get another just to have on hand, but... I'm lazy and don't feel like it. Also, this video was supposed to be recorded like two days ago. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna go home and finish up our, well not finish up, get started on our uh, starter base actually. All right, so we have five stacks of glass in this shulker box and we also have five more smelting currently. Um, and I also have a little bit here from that five smelting, uh, if that makes sense. So should be enough just to fill in what we want to fill in now, so that should be good, hopefully. If not, we have more sand that we can just smelt up, but it does take a little bit to smelt. <laughs> so I want it to line up 
with this wall right here. So this is where, if I could reach up there, where it's gonna go. This is where the wall's gonna go. It's gonna go all the way across, and right here, it does get like, you know, there's a little space where it won't touch. So I think I will kind of extend this with stone, um, and also over here too. But, yeah, I think, I think we're gonna just do that. It might be a little bit hard, actually very hard, but I, I'm getting better at things. <laughs> you know, I thought I'd really, really like the, uh, the glass, but I honestly don't know how I feel about it. I should probably look at it. <laughs> um, it's not my favorite, but also I did feel like this place really needed walls. What we can do is maybe like kind of extend the stone out in the middle so that it kind of goes through it. I think that might sell like the effect a little bit more. Yeah, let's try that. Now I'm no terraformer, but I feel like this went pretty well. Maybe we should extend the stone out a little bit more over here. Ooh, okay, maybe we should take out a little bit of this dirt, but I think that I did not a bad job on this and I think that does actually help it quite a lot um I don't hate it as much as I did I don't so let's do the other side really fast 16 stacks of glass later we have completed both sides now um and I think that it's good at least we don't have to worry about like creepers and whatnot coming in I could not fit my dogs in there though I'm sorry dogs I'm not I'm not willing to move all of them there's so many it gets so annoying um but yeah I'm happy with this for now. Um, I do want to like spice it up a little bit, uh, and we're also gonna go underground and like have a little thing. <laughs> um, I don't want to give too much information on it yet, and also to be honest, I don't really know exactly how I want to do it yet. Um, but we would, we will probably have a little thing underground, um, so that should be pretty cool. But yeah, I think that's enough on the base today. It actually took quite a bit of time. Um, and I'm so sorry for this video being late, by the way, but there's one more thing I want to get done, and that is to make a really quick enchanted uh, mending slash efficiency 5 shop. Um, there's already, like, two of those up, but I'm, I can sell my stuff for lower prices, so we're gonna go do that. Wow, I came all the way up, like, to whatever this these are um, in the overworld, and I forgot flint and steel to finish my portal. Uh, that's annoying. That's very annoying. I hope I can find this portal again. <laughs> I have returned with the flint and steel and was able to find the portal. Oh, uh, I just exited my Minecraft. There we go. Okay, great. Um, so, if you guys don't know what I'm doing yet, basically I'm just harvesting a lot of materials and we need a jungle so we can get a uh, brown dye so that we can make our shop. But I don't really want to say what my shop is yet. My plan is to do like a little third person time lapse thing and just kind of have you guys figure it out from there. <laughs> all right, so now we have all the materials that we need, so let's head over to the shopping district um, and show you guys what we're actually building. Remember, this is like a shop for mending books and efficiency efficiency five books, just like enchanting books, enchanted books. Oh my, oh my, this video is horrible. Oh my, God, uh, my time lapse got messed up, so we only have like the second part of it. Uh, so enjoyed this monologue for my brother while I do the second part of the time-lapse. <laughs> Alright, so this is our technically third time-lapse chat, which is a lot, and I don't know what to talk about anymore, so Aston, get over here. Yeah, okay. Aston, um, um, go for it. So I'm doing the, the chat, the chat. Yeah, don't make it that long. Go for it. <laughs> okay, so you just tell me when I'm getting near my time. Okay, alright, alright. <laughs> um, so I was like, Tim was like, hey, will you do a time-lapse chat? And I was like, sure, I guess. So I'm gonna talk about uh, what I used to do when I used to play Minecraft. So Back when I used to play Minecraft, I was probably about, like, 16. And, like, I still play Minecraft, but, like, this is when I was, like, into it, you know? I was, like, 16, so that was, like, what, like, five years ago? And I remember, at first, I didn't even have, like, an actual copy. I found, like, a, like a, like a, like a free version of it somewhere, and I played that for a while. But I had, like, this island, and, like, this island was, like, my island, and I had, like, I had, like, a wooden house. It was, like, two stories, and I, like... I remember I couldn't find diamonds anywhere. I was mining for like literal ages and I never found a single diamond. So I ended up getting really fed up and like, you know, like the shortcut method to like get to the nether where you like use the bucket and like, like you cool the obsidian, like the lava to like make obsidian. I did that on the second floor of my house. And so I went to the nether and I died instantly. I was like really bad at this game. 
Uh, I never got to kill a Blaze. I was like, I really wanted to make it to the end, but I was like too afraid of Blazes to like even like walk up to them. Um, yeah, and I just like, I made a cake at one point and I was like, this is it guys, I've peaked. Um, and so yeah, my, my knowledge of Minecraft has not really progressed since then. But uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. Thank you. All right. Bye. <laughs> well, it's totally being blocked by this shop, which I don't know why I put it here. I mean, like if you come over this way, you can still see it pretty well. It's fine. Uh, but it, it looks really well, in my opinion, actually. Like I did, I did a pretty good job on this. I just followed like a picture on a villager head, but yeah, it looks really good. So we'll fill this thing up next episode because. I, I really have to get going and post this video. It's already going to be late. Um, but yeah, it's all done, and I'm really happy with it. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm really, really happy that you guys stuck around till the end of this episode. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you liked the video, then, you know, hit the like button. Um, and if you guys want to see more episodes on the TaskCraft server or other videos that I do, uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, but before I go, just a quick little thing from my sponsor, Sticky Piston is the Minecraft server hosting company that offers amazing and powerful servers for a great price. Sticky Piston also has many different types of servers to choose from such as vanilla, modded Minecraft, minigame maps, and more. They also have a great and easy way to control your server so you don't have to go through all these different web pages and whatnot. Um, it's also great for be beginners like myself at making your own server. Um, and if you do get confused with anything, uh, their customer support is great and they can help you with almost any problem that you could have. Uh, so there's a link in the description if you want to go check them out. And I highly suggest you should because I'm not, uh, they're not sponsoring me because like, they're like, oh, I want to sponsor you. No, I actually want them to sponsor me because I think, I believe, I really love their product and I think that they're doing a great job with it. Um, so yeah, definitely go check them out. But yeah, thank you guys so much and goodbye.